And now, CBS 21 Sports with Jason Bristol. You can't smash an MP3. That's why sports is so great. We still break records. And we had some records broken at the state swimming championships. Bucknell University, the place to be. We have the girls' finals in AA. Start with the 500-yard freestyle, and they are off. Aaron Merkel, senior from York Suburban, comes in second behind Mia Nonnenberg of Scranton Prep. Aaron's time, just under 4 minutes and 58 seconds. And York Suburban, second place finish in the 400-yard freestyle relay as well. And because of that, the Trojans are the state runners-up behind Villa Maria. Um, second place, I'm really honored. I, it was a good race. Um, I know Mia was going to go out and have a great race. So I'm really happy with my time. I improved and um, I feel really good about it. It was a great two days for our girls. Um, our, our former coach, Mr. Geyer, said uh, anything that we do at States is icing on the cake and it turned out to be some pretty good icing. <laughs> I'll say, here's York Suburban getting those silver medals. That Villa Maria team from District 1 sets a new record for points by a state champion. And earlier, the 100-yard freestyle, Victoria Griffin, a senior from DeLone Catholic, into the pool and comes out of the pool second behind Adriana Grabsky from Mil Mifflinburg. Grabsky set a new state record, but Griffin is thrilled to get a silver medal. I'm feeling good. I did a best time, so that's exciting. I just wanted to try and stay with Adriana. Since we're a non-swimming school, like being able to come here and swim for them and place so high is really exciting. So pretty happy about it. <laughs> pretty happy? That's an understatement. There is Victoria picking up her medal in Boys Action Salisbury Township from Lehigh County winning the team title. Another year, another top prospect on the Senators. Anthony Rendon has been sent to Harrisburg. Listen, he's not a Bryce Harper or a Steven Strasburg, but he could still be an all-star. Rendon was here at the end of last season, too. Didn't do much after coming back from a broken ankle, but this spring, he tore up big league camp. If he does it here, he'll be gone soon. And Melvin Dorda is coming back as a coach for the Harrisburg Senators. Melvin's been running B2B Baseball and Softball Academy at In the Net in Palmyra. He's a former Senator, obviously. Harrisburg's home opener is April 4th against the Bowie Bay Sox. College Hoops, Penn State at the Big Ten Tournament facing Michigan. Can Penn State knock these guys off again? Uh, no. Jermaine Marshall from Redland. Banking this one in. Listen, he'll take it. He was just 3 of 13 from the floor, but this game was tied at 39. Michigan then goes on a run. Penn State caught sleeping on this play. Michigan is a winner, 83-66. Penn State season over, thankfully, with a record of 10 and 20. She has gone from hurting people to helping people. Maybe you remember this former world champ who is now a champion for fitness. And she doesn't just meet you at a gym, she comes to you. Your living room, your basement, your garage, that becomes the gym. Back in the day, her goal was to punish you. 13 years after throwing her last punch in the ring, Leah Mellinger is still training. Only now, she's the teacher, working with people like you and me. I had one client once who told me he said I was the MacGyver of fitness because I will just grab anything and, you know, we can figure out a way to make it into a workout. Just getting loosened up. And she brings these workouts to you a little bit. at your house. We met up with Leah and some clients at this home in Lancaster County. She used a ball with Aubrey Sweeney, who in a short time working with Leah has already dropped a pant size. So. Then she wrapped the hands of Pete Shear. When the fists stopped flying and the gloves came off, they were beat. I'd like to point out that this is water. So why do you guys like working out with Leah so much? Well, you know, to me, it, it's, it's uh, not boring at all. I mean, it's, it's something new every time. I also like the, pun the punching things, the boxing part. It's very therapeutic. Boxing was even more than that to Leah, a cheerleader in high school who later competed at beauty pageants. She won titles as a middleweight fighter in the late 90s and traveled the globe. It was my whole world. You know, I, I ate, slept, you know, breathed. Everything I did was training and having one singular goal. And that was, that was it. Now her goal is to help others reach theirs as a personal trainer. Even though she's not a boxer anymore, when that bell sounds, Leah Mellinger's instincts take over. She's ready to go to work. One more time, one, two. And she is. And injuries wow. forced her into retirement. But one thing that really stuck out, stuck out to me was 
her clients almost look at her as family. Uh, perhaps that's mm -hmm. because she comes into their home, yeah. and it just seemed like this very interesting dynamic. And of course, if you're interested in training with Leah, we'll have all that information on CBS21.com. She's a great that's motivator. Fantastic. Yeah, yeah no she doubt. is. All right, Jason. Thank you. We'll be right back.